Oh, it's a beautiful place. It's a really nice area. It's my favorite. I love Gilman. Ali Shan. Morocco! I love Gantik! We, we love, love Taiwan! Today, I want to take you to the Dongshan River in Yilin. Now, you have an even smarter choice for experiencing the unique charm of Taiwan cities. The Taiwan Pass. Online prepayment lets you save time, save money, and save memories. The Taiwan Pass combines dining, lodging, transportation, shopping, and park tickets on one single car. I'm going to use this pass, rent a bike, and have a ride around Dongshan River. The Dongshan River Water Park in Yilan is Taiwan's most successful example of the water management project decided to fit in with its surrounding environment. It's the first come here at Dongshan River. Yeah, it's our first time at Dongshan River. It's a lovely open space. Uh, it seems like a good place to uh, have a bike ride and even a picnic too. Yeah, there are places like this where I'm from in the UK. I had no idea that Taiwan had similar. Really? If you want to get even closer to the river, you can take a water bus. One ticket on water bus costs NT seventy-five dollars, which is around two and a half US dollars. The water buses at the park are powered by solar panels. The motors run quiet and they don't give off pollution. It only takes a few minutes to get to our destination, the National Center for Traditional Arts. And those who want to take pictures will definitely want to keep their cameras handy. The National Center for Traditional Arts is a good place to get to know Taiwanese popular culture and is also a place that no visitor to Ilan should miss. The museum across 24 hectares of grounds. Those who want to take their time can decide to spend a bit more time here. Some of Taiwan best on all street have been recreated here as if they were back in their prime. The street have even been used as scenery in some movies. Coming here, it feels like you have stepped back in time. Besides snacks and games, there are also all kinds of DIY crafts classes for visitors to experience some old-time charm. Aha! You can make your own cotton candy to eat! Or you can make your own umbrella! It's easy to lose track of time in these DIY classes, but even if you haven't looked at the activity schedule, the sounds of excitement coming from outside will keep you from missing out on something else interesting. Every month, the National Center for Traditional Arts invites a different arts group to be performers in residence. The tallest guy of culture and the literature stars in this month's act which shows off some of Taiwan's traditional culture and the religions through a temple processions and the festival welcoming the god. Many say that Ilan is northern Taiwan's new backyard. If you have a chance, you should definitely come and see this charming place for yourself. <laughs>